Hello there, Sagittarius. This is going to be your New Year's resolution love reading. And this is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising signs, and anyone else influenced by the sign of Sagittarius, whether it be in their charts. Okay. Um, I've already pre-shuffled the cards just to avoid the time. Um, taking up most of the time shuffling because it does take a while to do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading. All right, so your theme for the new year when it comes to love is innovation. Okay, so this is about divine creation. Um, inventing what you want in love and having the power to do that. Awakening that power and that truth inside of you to recognize that you can create what you want. And using your highest self to create that, using your divine guidance, your intuition, your soul's truth in order to do that. Okay, so this is about inventing what you want in love, what you see fit. Okay, so what needs to be released when it comes to love and relationship? What do you need to let go of that's not of your highest good? And we have truth. So anything that is not your truth, what you don't want, okay? So you have to release things that might be someone else's truth, might be someone else's wants and desires and needs when it comes to love and not your own. It's like you have to honor your truth when it comes to these relationships. Like it, you have a lot of different people around you you might be influencing or they might be influencing your truth some way like what's best for me what isn't best for me based upon what they feel is best for you what they see fit for you so it's kind of like you're shaping your truth around that and it's not exactly coming from within it's not your exact truth which is why you're unhappy because it's in a sense a, a settling type of energy you're settling for someone else's ideals, not your own. So you have to release anything that is not of your truth and your desires that you really want for yourself when it comes to love. That might even be partners letting go of certain people, um, someone that you've been dating, um, someone that you might be in a serious relationship or something within that relationship is not honest, it's not truth. It's not trustworthy. There's this energy of manipulation, lies, whether it's coming from you or them. There's something that's faulty. For some of you, it is cheating. It's some of you not exactly being happy within a relationship, feeling like what's wrong, what's happening. Is it me? Is it them? And the truth of it is there's some type of settling going on because you're not following your heart's desires of what you really want. You've allowed other people to tell you what you want. And what you should want. Which isn't your truth. You're coming to that realization now that I have to live my truth. Or at least you will be coming to that. So the lesson that you have to learn. Is courage. Okay. So you have to learn. Uh, within the new year. To step up and have faith about what you want. Not allowing anyone to detour you out of your path or tell you what's good for you, what's best for you, what you should want, who you should want, how you should live because it's not serving you. It actually just, it lowers your vibration and it makes you feel unworthy in some way or like something's wrong with you because you're following everyone else's wants and needs and you're wondering why things are not working in the way that you would like them to. It's because you're, you're basing someone else's truth and imposing it as your own when that's not really what it is, if that makes sense. So you have to have courage to break free from this pattern. You have to learn this lesson that it takes courage to go after what you want, to be that person that stands out because whatever it is that you want might not be traditional. It might not be conventional. It might not even, you know, it, it might shock people around you or it might be something totally different than what people were expecting of you or wanting of you. Or what they want for themselves, they might feel like something is totally different. 
But that shouldn't be your concern. This is your life. These are your desires. Remember, you have the energy of innovation. You're inventing the life and the love that you want in the new year. You have that gift because the focus that you have, your goals and intentions that you should set, that spirit feels that you should set, which will be of your highest good when it comes to love and getting what you want, is actually creativity. So you have the power of creating what you want. You have nectar of divine essence, it says. So you're, the nectar is that desire within yourself, divine essence, your truth, that desire of your true heart, your true self, your highest self, what it really wants to experience. So set goals from that space, like really go deep within yourself without limiting yourself, without doubting yourself, without judging yourself, really write down the things that you would want to experience and love and don't hold it back. Don't say that that's stupid or that can never happen. I don't deserve that or I can never have that type of person. Um, what will people think if I do that? It's like you have to step outside of the limitations and start thinking from your higher self, which is limitless which is infinite. It has the power to create anything. But it's the intentions that you set. So setting the intentions from your highest place, your truth within you, what's really in your heart, what you really want, has the power to create. All right. So how to achieve these goals in the new year? You have grounded, divine partnership, energy of creation. So you have all of this creativity, this creation, manifesting energy all around you in order to achieve these goals you have to stay grounded in yourself in your truth of what you really want the divine partnership starts within yourself having that connection to yourself wholly and fully knowing what you want who you are what you want to bring in in your lifetime and standing on that standing firm on that helps make things much easier for you to create it's like more power coming from that space rather than denying yourself of your truth it's like you have the blessing of the universe and the divine to to create what you want in love and for some of you you want to create a divine partnership you want to bring in someone that you could spend the rest of your life with and have a spiritual connection and so much more a vast connection you desire to have that, but you have to stand firm on that belief that it is so and that you can have that thing. But first you have to be whole within yourself before you can create that sacred partnership that you want. All right, so the energies, the new energies and new experiences and love that you'll be coming into in the new year, you have nurture. Okay, song of motherhood. So this is about nurturing yourself and nurturing your um nurturing your gifts and also nurturing your dreams the things that you the seeds that you've planted the the things that you want to give birth to give life to manifest so you'll be coming into this new energy and new experiences of starting to really nurture yourself and what you really want start to take uh like responsibility for what you want and Worry like you're very focused or you'll be very concerned with your well-being. Like, what do I want? What do what matters most to me? What makes me feel happy? What will make me feel good? It's like you have to mommy yourself or daddy yourself a little bit like you have to parent yourself like this mother with her child. You have to care about your needs. It has to be the one, the number one concern is self. And it's not selfish. You have to be in a healthy space within yourself to be healthy with everyone else around you. And to give something valuable, you have to value yourself first. So you'll be coming into that. Discoveries that you'll have about self within love. You have the Awaken card and it says Archangel Gabriel, Messenger of God. So you're going to discover a lot about love, where you stand within it. Because it's like the angels are working with you. They're sending you these. They're sending these messages of reassurance and 
like they're guiding you, they're helping you with Archangel Gabriel, the messenger of God. It's like you might be being guided and led by this angel specifically, excuse me, or your spiritual guides, your angels or other archangels are assisting you to see things from a broader perspective. Like your sights are awakening when it comes to love, like you're learning so much. It's like you're starting to trust in your intuition. You're seeing things way differently. Your spiritual sight is like in heightening. I'm getting like it's going to expand your views and your takes on what true love is. That's what you're going to discover based upon the messages that you're receiving from spirit and what you're guided, what you're witnessing, what you're feeling, what your experiences are. You're going to see love in a much brighter view or bigger perspective or more clearly and what love what it means to you okay all right so i'm gonna pull a card from the angel gods and goddesses deck as divine guidance for you um sagittarius for the new year what they wish to leave you with as advice when it comes to love for the new year okay and that just flew out Okay, so you have God of the underworld, and it says something which no longer serves you is about to end. So there's something that you have to realize that you're your own savior, that you're the only person that can save you, that what you feel like you're, like you're being punished in some way or you can't ever have what you want. It's self-imposed. It's self, you're doing it to yourself. Because you're denying what you really want by sacrificing yourself for many rather than doing it, rather than following your truth and your guidance or out of self-sacrificing yourself to please others, but at the same time denying your truth, which actually hurts inside, which is why you feel like I can never have what I want because you're trying to live off of someone else's fantasy or desires for you, or what maybe even society says is right, what's traditionally what's been done for centuries, or what your mother said, what your father said, or what your best friend said, what this person said, these types of women, I should date this type of man, or whatever the case may be, and your soul is telling you differently. I'm attracted to this lifestyle. I'm attracted to this type of person, but society doesn't agree with it. You have to follow your truth first and foremost. You have to save yourself. I apologize for the noise. But you have to honor your truth. Free yourself, save yourself, heal yourself from this. By knowing what you want and by following what you want. What's right for you. Okay. So that is your reading, you guys. I hope that this was helpful. And it will be beneficial for you for the new year. And I send you guys lots of love, lots of light, and Happy New Year. Take care.